it's not the shirt that you were wearing during the game. Oh, as you might imagine, there's a lot of euphoria. In the locker room. It's a heck of a game. I've so, been involved in playing Arizona a number of years now, and this is uh, just an epic game. Just I think the quality of the game is, is very high level, and very well played, and we're, we're a very good defensive team, and that's like the best we could do. <laughs> and uh, so. A lot of credit to them. They're a really good program, the top teams in the country. So to come out here and do what we did today was uh, pretty special. Season, season changing game possibly for you guys? Yeah, if, if I hope people are watching to see the level of the game. And that's what postseason asks for. They want teams that could perform like that on a national stage. And I think you saw two teams that, uh, that you know, should be in postseason. Where does this win rank for you all time as a player and a coach? I, I just, it, it's hard to like, to share that exactly. I've had luck with under three second games as, as an amateur. Um, and, uh, you know, Cambridge is amazing. He did this, he did this, if you guys remember, to end the first half. I believe, I guess, was it UCLA, yeah, maybe? And so he's got two of them now. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, we, uh, the guys fought. It was, uh, you know, we made 36 field goals, which is an insane number to make for us. Uh, so just real high, high level. Game. You saw that shot go up. Did you think it was good? I mean, when you were you, what, and what was your reaction? When I would say drop? It, it reminded me of the the, 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 of the dark side of uh, a three quarter court shot like last year that we had go against us when we played Riverside and, and the ball was just looked like it was going in in that Riverside game. And the look that I got, I thought it had a chance. It was like going right towards the hoop. And I just never know. It looked good, but it left the same. To go out in the first half, play the way you did in the first half. We talked about last time you played them and down by 17. And the first half had to be everything you wanted. Yeah, if you look at Arizona, statistically, they've been a very impressive first half team in terms of scoring. They have a big differential. They, they go at teams right away. And, so we didn't want a, a replay of our first matchup where we had to fight back from that deficit. But we did get down 10 and held on to the rope, and guys kept making plays, and uh, so it was a heck of a game. Uh, Devin Cambridge is obviously a key player for you guys. He was playing well today, and then he's out for the last few weeks. What does that say about the resilience of the, of the rest of the guys to win that with him sitting down? Yeah, we knew that. I said, I don't know who, who it's going to be. <laughs> But a couple of you guys are going to be in foul trouble, and we got to deal with it. And, uh, and, and you know, it just happened to be him. But he, he fought, and, and he was giving up several inches to uh, to Tabulis most of the time, and just fought with, fought with him most of the game. And uh, so, I mean, yeah, these guys. I mean, he's such a good leader. He plays so hard. Uh, he's a winner, you know. And uh, both brothers have been have been terrific to our program this year. Down by, down by, I'm sorry, down by ten at one point. Guys in foul trouble. In this facility, this venue, what does it say about your team to be able to gut this out and not fold? We've been in a lot of games like this. And, uh, we've beaten really good teams in close games. So, so we have a, something to fall back on in that. And even though we're down eight, down six, you know, we still wanted to you know, make a play, get it to one possession, and put some game pressure on them late. And to their credit, they, you know, they made the plays. You know, they had. Uh, you know, they made a big basket by Larson. We had a good look at the other end, didn't go down. You know, they, they made a free throw, but uh, we had one more answer. And if they had the ball one more time, it might be a different result. What was the message to the team before the game? Because I felt like you guys came out with a certain different kind of intensity and hunger than everyone would see in the past, and it really showed. Well, we've been through a lot as a team, and we had some really good wins early in the season and hit a tough patch in the middle. and. And uh, we, we came full circle back to, to being a big underdog. And uh, some people jumping ship on us and not thinking that, that we're that team, but we are that team. And the guys came out and proved it tonight. And, uh, you know, we're, we're excited for the rest of the way now because if you know if you could go toe to toe with a team like Arizona on their home floor this late in the season. And, and, and you know, they're, they're still in the, they were in the hunt for the number one seed in the conference championship, you know, depending on what happens the rest of the way with UCLA. So, you know, it's uh, they they had a lot to play for, and uh, you know, we our guys fought and got it done. How do you ride the momentum of this win? I think it just you know we're gonna enjoy it today, and uh, we had good preparation coming into this. I, I felt like we were we were poised to play well based on how we were practicing, and we'll just get back to doing that again. And and then uh, you know the road doesn't get any easier the rest of the way, but uh, 
I've said this in press before this game, if you're going to be playing in postseason, you've got to beat teams like this. So uh, they're going to be in, in your way. So uh, that's how we approach the game. We got Dennis Cambridge here. Coach, okay. did you intend to play to Arizona's piece the way you guys did going toe-to-toe -to -toe offensively with them in both halves? Yeah, I would say the one thing that I didn't like, if you could look at any negatives, there was a, a key play where we missed a free throw and, and Taboulas outran us and got a three-point play. That was like that shouldn't happen. But otherwise, I, I trust my guys. If we have something good in transition, uh, then I, I'm fine with it. So thank you guys. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. End of the hour, Cambridge hey, Junior. Hey, Junior. Hey, how you feeling? Start us off. I still don't know how to feel. <laughs> Yeah, that was probably the, that's definitely the craziest experience, the best game like I've ever been a part of. But it literally hasn't even set in yet. So yeah, when the you ball, have to ask me next game. When ball released your hand, did you know it was good? How how long until you knew it was good? Unless maybe it went and went in. To be honest, if I'm being completely honest, like I, I make those shots all the time, but. That shot, I did not think it was going. I really just wanted to be a nice miss and everyone in the crowd go, ooh, like, hey, I'm okay. <laughs> and when it went in, I literally could only scream because that, I, like, it still doesn't make sense to me that that happened. Like, That's the second time you've done this this year. Oh, what what is oh, your yeah, what yeah. is it with you with these deep shots? These deep shots? Yeah. I mean, I've just been a shooter my whole career, and I just love shooting the ball, man. Like, oh, I, you know, with my teammates, you know, brothers, we shoot half court shots all the time. We literally were doing that actually yesterday, um, just like a friendly competition with the team. So, yeah, I guess it paid off. Who won? Right. Who won when you were just goofing around? Um, who was it? I think it was Frankie. But I, I, I was playing one on one on the side. I really didn't even <laughs> participate. Really. Yeah. What does this do for the team's confidence moving forward, knowing this late in the season you knock off a team like this and the implications you can have moving forward? Oh, it was, it was a real big confidence boost, and it was really what we needed. Um, we knew that we were going to have to play every possession, and no matter what, they're going to keep punching us, and we had to come back stronger. And, um, you know, beating a team like that in the way we did, that, that um, you can't even put into words how much that helps everyone in the locker room and how, um, you know, down the stretch and other big games, how we can, you know, pull it through. You were down by 10 points, I think, with six and a half or so minutes left. Guys in foul trouble, um, guys eventually fouling out. What about the resiliency and not folding when you could have down by 10? And that, that's really um, the thing I was just um, touching on. Um, just, you know, staying resilient, staying poised, um, you know, being able to stand up when they knock you down. And um, we grew so much here. We, we didn't have awesome New Year's, our freshmen, fiery freshmen. Uh, so that was what, that, that was for him too. Go ahead. Des, you, had a really, you guys had a really good look at the end. Ward had one on the way before your half court heave. Um, what does that just say about the confidence of you guys as shooters to know that you can just kind of chuck one up there and kind of hope that it goes in after a miss like that? Man, um, like literally with that shot, with DJ's shot, I thought that was I thought it was good. And then I thought we had a chance, you know, to get a rebound maybe. Or but at the end of the day, you know, you live or die with you know your shot makers and shot creators. And uh, co coach has given us a lot of. Um, um, Freedom and you know just confidence has built that into us with the shots he let us take, and um, I think it was on us to finally figure out with that freedom how to not exploit it all the time and you know try to find better shots in the offense. But you know sometimes you just gotta give it to your guys and trust them, and that's what he that's what he did. Uh, before, the, uh, before the game, you were walking into the locker room. I think this was before warm ups, and you gave the student section, Arizona student section, a kiss. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> well, what was the what was the message? You know, among you, uh, among the players, just uh, with managing this kind of atmosphere. I mean, really, um, I used to, I used to really be like talk to the crowd a lot or talk to the other team, and uh, you know, playing a team like this, you can't even give that kind of energy to. Yes, yeah, sir. To other things, you know, that aren't about the game. But you know, we were walking into the locker room before the game started. And, you know, I'm just appreciative that they're here. You know, even even if they're going against us, I just love the atmosphere today, and it was the greatest experience of my life in college basketball. Would you rather have a crowd go crazy or a crowd go dead silent like it did today? That, when I go and replay that moment, that's probably going to be the best moment in my life. So, it's, it's dead definitely quiet on the replay. Oh, man. I, I can't wait to hear nothing. <laughs> After DJ's missed, there were three seconds left. Was there like a, oh, did you just lose? Literally, that's what I'm saying with my shot. I didn't even like expect it to go. Well, I expected it to go in, but I didn't expect it to go in. I thought it was over. And, you know, but at the end of the day, that's, you know, the mindset that I built up and that we built, you know, just, just keep playing until the buzzer sounds. And 
We did. Put some respect on ASU's name a little Put bit some more? respect on it because we finna make some noise in the Pac-12 tournament. We finna get to the NCAA tournament and do, do what we do. Did you, do you think anybody in Arizona or at Arizona State actually thought you guys were going to win this game or had a chance? Oh, yeah. We thought we were going to win 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, especially I mean, other guys. than you guys, the team. Oh, members. anyone else? Yeah, I don't think anyone else did. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we came into this season with. And um, I think it's actually helped us because, you know, when we were winning and had that good little stretch, we kind of got too complacent. We, you know, we've never been there before on the, on the winning side, the good side, you know. And so just using that energy and putting it into something good is what we did. This, this is unlike any win you guys have really this season to really go toe to toe and have a high scoring affair like that. Was that was that something that like coach talked to you guys about? Like really going out there and just challenging them at their own game? Uh, no, that's what that's what um, I, I've been talking about playing each possession uh, to its fullest, and uh, I think we just trusted each other and playing each possession uh, and trying to get the right right make the right decision on each possession and. Uh, Lily, I, I feel like everyone um, scored, everyone helped, everyone played hard, and I'm so proud of my team, man, because this is one of the biggest, it's literally the biggest win of my life, and I couldn't have did it without them in it. So. I wonder what the CAD stands for. Cambridge all day. This is the first time I wore it. This is my brother's chain. He let me wear it for Devin's, today. For yeah, Devin, Devin, so, yeah. Are you going to keep so, wearing it now? Uh, you know, if I deserve it, I got to keep doing it. You know, the CAD all day. Thank you, Thank you, Thank Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, Get in here, DJ. So where does this stand for you as far as games you've played in in your college career? By far, best win. Best win in my career, for sure. When the ball left Dez's hand, did you think it was in? Uh, I've seen him make a shot like that before, so, uh, you know, I'm all, all best with him, so I thought I knew it was good. When you let go of that shot with three seconds left, that time down, was it like a defeated feeling? I saw it with some time on the clock, uh, and I knew it was so I knew we still had a chance to get a uh, last second heave up, and that's just exactly what happened. When you put that shot up, did you think it was good? This I thought it was good, yeah, for sure. Um, you guys, multiple times today, came back from down six, down eight, down five, down ten, multiple times. How does it feel to know that you guys can take punches and stand back? <clears throat> Uh, it, you know, it definitely gives us a lot of confidence, especially with these next two tough games on our schedule. Um, to do it against a team like Arizona, especially with our backs up against the wall, as far as where we stand in our season, uh, I think this is good for us. It's going to definitely give us motivation going into these next two. Is this a season changer for you guys? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think that we kind of got away from what we were doing. We took some bad losses. Uh, people will start counting us out, but, you know, we, we're a together group. We've been that way the whole season, and um, this is just a great example of that. What does it say to you, know, you guys and your team to be able to win a game like this? I was telling you guys, it's pretty much unlike any win you guys have this season. Like 89 80 high scoring. Was that like intended? I mean, you guys were game planning with coach, or how did that sort of play out? Uh, I mean, we just knew it was going to be a 40 minute fight. Uh, we know that Arizona is a great team. We know that they're like the number one team with uh, like offense efficiency. So uh, we knew that we were going to have to bring our A game defensively. Um, and tonight was just one of those nights where our shots were going in and uh, we got the win. What about putting some respect on ASU's name now? Yeah, I think it's about that time, man. But, you know, I'm not even really worried about that. We, we got each other in the locker room. That's all we need. And, um, I think that's just our final home. Can you talk about the growth from what you guys have experienced this season with Arizona New Year's Eve versus what it is today with this win? Um, you know, looking back at how we played Arizona uh, back in New Year's, uh, we how we played them pretty tough then too. Uh, we kind of just ran out of gas the last couple, like five, five, three minutes. Uh, so to be able to put a complete 40 minutes on this game, is, it just feels good because we know we, like, we're right there. We can really compete with anybody. Down by the 17 against them the last time. This time you're up by one. What was the feel like in the locker room at that point, knowing you were already going toe to toe with this one? Um, I think it, it it was just like that. that yeah. Moment. Yeah. 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 To be able to, you know, be up and see their fans fall out of here and, and defeat and everything, there's no better feeling than that. Thanks, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Yeah, thank you.